Hello, Philip Jensen here, speaking with Mark Dever. And Mark, I want to ask you about theological education. I'm well known to be heavily committed to it, but I've, you've got more degrees and spent more time at it than I did in terms of formal education. Now, I don't want you to generalise from just yourself, but why did you spend so much time mm -hmm. at it? Or would you encourage other people to do that? Or really, should we just get out and get going? Yeah. I have four theological degrees, and I would not encourage people generally to do that. I did that because I thought I was going to teach in a seminary. Having said that, uh, I do think that that kind of formal training is very important in a day when we're facing more and more opposition to Christianity and very thoughtful opposition. So I think a lot of Christians in their earnestness want to say, look, I've got the gospel, I've got the Bible, it's the Holy Spirit who converts, so I'm just going to go and use these gifts that He's given me, and that's kind of it. To which I want to say, you know, if that's the best stewardship you can manage with your economy or your age or your family commitments, God bless you. That's great. But if there are ways you can use where you are in life, the ability you have to study formally, to take a few years out and get some studying done formally, that, that will help you for the rest of your life in ministry. You're not just purchasing something for yourself that you're going to eat right now and it's gone. No, you're actually equipping yourself for then the platform out of which you're going to be giving things for decades, Lord willing, to people. So it hugely repays to take time off early in your ministry to do formal studies at a good school.